In this video, we're going to be reviewing the steps to pair your QLogic 3 expandable electronics Bluetooth to an iPhone or an iPad. The steps are exactly the same for the iPhone and the iPad. The first thing we need to do is go into our settings menu. So it's a left command from the home screen. Go down to Bluetooth operation, make a right command, and I want to choose assistive switch control. So I highlight it and I'm going to make a right command on my input device. Assistive switch control is now an active option in the QLogic 3 system when I go to my Bluetooth menu. So make a right command from the home screen, go to assistive switch control, and I'm going to choose new because it's a new device. The QLogic 3 Bluetooth chip that's available in here is the ID number 1408 and it is discoverable. So what I need to do is go to my settings in my iPhone and I'm going to go down to Bluetooth and I want to pair with my switch control 1408 which I'm going to choose. On the wheelchair electronics, it's going to ask you to confirm the Bluetooth pin. You're going to look at your iPhone and make sure they're the same. If it is the same, give a forward command on the input device to select it and then click pair on your iPhone. The switch control is now connected, which you can see here on the wheelchair electronics. The screen is blue, which shows you that there is a Bluetooth connection. The next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go down and go to my general settings. I have to go to accessibility and I want to en enable switch control, which you can see on the phone here actually, switch control is enabled. Um, as soon as I connected to it, it turned itself on. But I need to identify the switches so I can control it. So the scanning style right now is set to manual scan, which happens to be what my preference is for the best control over the iPhone. So we are gonna leave it as a manual scanning. And I'm gonna go to switches. Okay, it is default to move to next item and select item. I have a slightly different way I like to set it up. With the QLogic 3 system, you have the ability to do uh, two switch hits per direction. You can do a short and a long command, so you have the potential for eight different commands. We're gonna set up for four commands to start off. So I'm gonna click add a new switch. I'm going to go to external, and it asks me to activate my switch. So I'm gonna give a command on the joystick or the input device, I'm gonna give a right command, and I'm gonna name that right. I'm gonna save it. Now I have to choose what I want that command to do. So I'm gonna choose move to next item because I'm using it as a manual scan. I wanna add another directional command. And so I add a new switch, external. I'm gonna give a left command and I'm gonna name that left. I'm gonna save it. And now I have to assign a function to it. So I'm gonna click move to previous. So that one is saved into the iPhone. I'm gonna click add a new switch, external. I'm gonna give a forward command on the joystick. Name it forward, save it. And I'm gonna use this one as a tap, just like I was tapping the touch screen on my iPhone. The last direction I'm gonna use, add a new switch, external, reverse, I'm gonna save it, and this time, I'm gonna use this as a home button. So it's just like hitting your home button on your iPhone. Everything is assigned. I'm gonna exit switch control, and now I have the capability of highlighting each item by moving my joystick. So if I want to go into um, so say I want to go to the next screen. I'm going to go down one more to where the little, all the little dots are and I'm going to give a forward command on the joystick which is tapping the screen and it swipes for me. And then if I want to go into a certain app, um, I 
when I get to this line, I give a forward command to tap. If I want to enter my music app, I give a forward command and it enters my music app. There will be hotspots in most apps that you can utilize that will be highlighted. So that is the easiest way to be able to pair to your Apple device in a very basic format. If I want to leave this app, I'm going to give a reverse command. And if I want to go back to my home screen, I give a reverse command to go back to the home screen, the original screen. So those are the steps to pairing the QLogic 3 system to an iPhone or an iPad. If there are any questions that you have, please contact your local quantum representative and they can help walk you through things or our technical support department.